Are you prepared for the Australian immigration changes after the 1st of July 2019? Many changes introduced to the Australian Skilled, GSM, Employer Sponsored Visas, ENS, and Family Visa Program. The migration updates and changes in 2019 is updated on a regular basis. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. In preparation to the introduction of the new skilled regional visas in November, the Immigration Department has announced further details on the implementation dates for the 491 and 494 visas, and transitional arrangements for subclass 489 and RSMS 187 visas. New Regional Visas with PR Pathways The Australian Government has released the regulations relating to two new regional visas which will be available from November 2019. The two new regional, provisional, visas are Subclass 491 Skilled Work Regional, Provisional, Visa, substituting the current 489 visa and commencing November 16, 2019 This visa has 14,000 places allocated per year. This is a skilled migration, points tested, visa which requires either state government nomination, or sponsorship by an eligible family member who is settled in a designated regional area. The age limit for this visa is 45 and you must have a positive skills assessment. Subclass 494 Skilled Employer Sponsored, substituting the current 187, RSMS, visa and commencing November 16, 2019 This visa has 9,000 places allocated per year. It requires employer sponsorship and the position must be likely to exist for 5 years. It has a 45-year age limit, competent English. RCB advice and must meet the AMSR. Visa applicants must have a suitable skills assessment and at least three years skilled employment, unless exempt. Subclass 191 Permanent Residents, Skilled Regional, to meet the requirements of the permanent visa. From November 2022, applicants must have held a subclass 491 or 494 visa for at least three years, have complied with the conditions on that visa and have met minimum taxable income requirements. Extra one-year visa for international graduates from regional institutions. A new initiative for an additional temporary graduate visa with an extra year of post-study work rights for international students who graduate from the regional campus of a registered university or institution with a higher education or postgraduate qualification, and maintain ongoing residence in a regional area while holding their first temporary graduate, subclass 485, visa. The second temporary graduate visa will require ongoing residence in a regional area. The definition of regional Australia for this purpose will be the same as the definition for skilled migration. All of Australia except Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Migration changes in 2019. The new sponsored family visa and approval of family sponsor changes commence on the 17th of April 2019. The new changes to sponsored family visas which is likely to include partner visas, is scheduled to commence on 17 April 2019. This may have the following effect on prospective partner visa applicants. Sponsorships lodged first and approved before partner visas can be lodged. If you are planning to apply for a partner visa we recommend check with your immigration agent for further advice or check with the Free Australian Immigration Forums. New legislation has recently been introduced that will significantly impact whether an Australian partner visa application can be lodged with the applicant, partner or spouse, is in Australia. The new regulations mean that partner visa sponsorship applications would need to be lodged under stricter criteria and approved before the overseas partner visa application could be lodged, however these have not been implemented yet for partner visas. The new two-step process will delay the lodgement of the overseas partner application and require the overseas partner to have a valid visa until a visa application for the overseas partner can be lodged. We recommend that our clients take advantage of the deferral of the new regulation and lodge their sponsorship and partner visa applications as soon as possible. The change of partner visa will require the sponsor, and not just the applicants, to be assessed as well. These key changes amend the Migration Act 1958 to establish a sponsorship framework for the Sponsored Family Visa Program to establish a sponsorship framework for the Sponsored Family Visa Program to separate sponsorship assessment from the visa application process for family sponsored visas. Require the approval of persons as family sponsors before any relevant visa applications are made. 
impose statutory obligations on persons who are or were approved as family sponsors and provide for sanctions if those obligations are not satisfied. Facilitate the sharing of personal information between parties identified in a sponsorship application. Enable the refusal of a sponsorship application and the cancellation or barring of a family sponsor in certain circumstances. Enable the regulations to prescribe details for, and in relation to, the operation of the sponsorship framework, and make consequential amendments. Commencement of the 5-year 870 Temporary Sponsored Parent Visa Subclass 870 Visa The introduction of the new Temporary Sponsored Parent Visa for bringing in overseas parents of Australian citizens and permanent residents will be available on 17 April 2019. 15,000 visas will be made available annually. The visas will be valid for three or five years at a cost of $5,000 and $10,000 respectively. The new parent visa will be renewable for a combined maximum of 10 years. Sponsors can only sponsor two parents at any one time and have a minimum household taxable income threshold of $83,454.80 and have no debts to the Commonwealth or outstanding public health debts. Financial Requirement for Foreign Students in 2019 the evidence of fund needs to show living cost is the following, main student or guardian, $20,290, up from $19,830, partner or spouse, $7,100, up from $6,940, per child, $3,040, up from $2,970. Fees in 2019. The Department of Home Affairs has announced an increase in visa application charges. VAC. Increase in fees will apply to applications made on or after 1 July 2019 on most visa subclasses. From 1 July 2019. Student Visa. Pre-July fees $575. Now new changed fees $620. General Skilled Migration Visas. Pre-July fees $3,755. Now new changed fees $4,045. Graduate Temporary Subclass 485. Pre-July fees $1,535. Now new changed fees $1,650. Partner. Pre-July fees $7,160. Now new changed fees $7,715. The Skilled Visa Pass Mark is 65 points in 2019. Pull and pass mark will increase to 65 for the following three subclasses where an application is made in 2019 in response to an invitation is Skilled Independent, Permanent, Subclass 189 Skilled Nominated, Permanent, Subclass 190 Skilled Regional Sponsored, Provisional, Subclass 489 some of the most significant changes to Australia's immigration system in recent years are going to take effect this year. Immigration cap lowered. Following months of posturing on the issue of growing congestion in Sydney and Melbourne, the Morrison government announced in March this year that it will cut back Australia's annual permanent immigration intake to 160,000. The intake has been capped at 190,000 since 2011 but the actual intake fell to just over 162,000 in 2017-18 for the first time in over a decade. The impact of the overall cut will be absorbed by skilled independent visas that allowed people to live and work anywhere in Australia. The annual quota of this subclass has been slashed from over 43,000 to nearly 18,000 a move that has temporary residents in Australia worried that it might force a prolonged temporary residency period on them. The government said the cap will be maintained for the next four years. Citizenship changes abandoned. According to media reports, the federal government has abandoned the legislation that would have made migrants to wait longer and prove they have competent English proficiency before they could apply for Australian citizenship. After the bill passed through the House of Representatives, it was struck of the Senate notice paper in October 2017 due to a joint opposition by the Greens, Labor and some cross bench senators. Since then, the government had softened its stand on English requirements, scaling it down to moderate, but couldn't get the required support to pass it in the Senate. So I hope you like this video. Don't need to spend a lot of money to apply this visa. Do you want to get more details from the Australian Authorised Agent who they all are available in the Australian forums?
Thank you very much for your valuable time spending on this video. Please share and subscribe for more videos. My future videos are How to get sponsor visa How to get jobs in Australia before you enter Please stay tuned. Thank you very much.